In the following video, I will show you how to answer the June 2010 uh, question 2 uh, of the OCR Core 4 uh, syllabus, and the question is on calculus of trigonometric functions. Let's take a look. It gives you the function y is cos x over 1 minus sin x, and simply asks you to differentiate this and simplify your answer. When you see something like this, you should be Im immediately thinking, well, I've got a function on the top of a quotient, and I've got a function on the bottom of a quotient, a quotient being um, a fraction, and I should use what's called the quotient rule. Now, the quotient rule says if you're differentiating, differentiating two functions of, of x, uh, u divided by v, then the answer is v times the differential of u, subtract u times the differential of v, all divided by v squared. So the key with this question here is to define our u and our v. u is cos x, so the differential u dashed would be uh, the negative sin x. And we also know that we're defining v to be 1 minus sin x, so the differential of, of v, or the differential of 1 is 0, the differential of minus sine x is minus cos x. All we have to do now is uh, substitute these into our formula and simplify, and we're done. So, dy by dx, the differential of y, uh, this function here, is therefore v times u dashed, so it's going to be 1 minus sine x, multiplied by minus sine x, and it's going to be uh, subtract u, which is cos x, times the differential of, of v, which is v dashed, which is minus cos x. And all of that is going to be divided by v squared, uh, and that would give me on the bottom 1 minus sine x, all squared. Okay, obvious thing to do now, tidy up the numerator. I would get minus sine x here and plus sine squared. And here, minus cos x times minus cos x would be plus cos squared. So from here I'm getting a sine squared. Here I'm getting a plus cos squared. Sine squared plus cos squared is 1. So I'm going to be getting a 1 here. And this, multiplied by this, will give me 1 minus sine x on the top. You may need a few more lines than I've needed there. Times that all out, you'll see clearly I get 1 minus sine x. And all of this is divided by 1 minus sine x all squared. Okay, so I've got a 1 minus sine x on the numerator, 1 minus sine x times 1 minus sine x on the denominator. I can cancel, and I would simply get 1 over 1 minus sine x. And that is dy by dx. So, I hope you found the following useful in your revision of Core 4 and the calculus of trigonometric functions. Thank you for watching and listening.